Bobby, I know we talked to you quite a bit after Game Three, of, you know, about what it's like to, to be here and all that. But but now that we're talking to you after a home game, I mean, they are chanting your name all night long. Yeah. What, what do you think? What's behind that? And and what do you like? What do you make of it? I mean, like Milwaukee's a tough city. Uh, you know, we was meeting with um, you know some people over the started the season about January, February, and they were just telling us all about the city and how tough it is to live here and things like that. And, um, you know, the city goes through a lot. So um, when they see somebody that gives this all and, you know, work hard because it's a, it's a blue collar city and I'm a blue collar player, um, whether I'm making shots, um, whether it's, they're going in or not, um, I still give my all to the team, get 100% um, for, the, for the name on the front of the jersey. And uh, they love players like that. And, uh, you know, it's just fun, man, um, to go out there and play this game and, you know, have the home court advantage as well and just to get them involved just so we can, you know, have that home court advantage. See, I know you've said on a number of occasions that you had other offers, more lucrative offers, and you, yeah. wanted, to, you wanted to play off stage. Just what's it been like to this playoff atmosphere? Great, man. And, uh, you coming here was one of the best decisions for my career-wise, man. Uh, you know, I started off my, my career kind of shaky, uh, up and down, a lot of highs, I mean, a lot of lows as well. And, um, you know, when you first come into the NBA, you don't really understand the journey. Uh, you just, um, you know, come from college. I'm my best player on my team, um, player of the year, you know, All-American, All-American in high school. So when I first got to the league, I um, wasn't playing a, a lot, uh, didn't really understand, uh, was, you know, kind of lost in the shuffle a little bit. If I fall my way in, Played some, went through a lot of uh, altercations and things like that. But, you know, it's the journey is, is what makes it sweet, man, in the NBA. Um, you know, you really can't, you know, put a put a tab on that. Um, coming here, man, was the best decision, like I said, in my career. Having good veterans like, uh, you know, Giannis and Brooke to coach me up on, you know, how to be, you know, um, a two-way player on the defensive end and things like that. Having guys like Chris and Drew that's unselfish that can put the ball in the hole but still trust me to shoot my shots and, and having coaches like Coach Bud and you know Coach Ham and all the coaching staff that just believe in me. Um, it's just it was just a just a great business decision on, on, on that too. Eric Bobby, um, when I when I watch you play it feels like joy. Like that's like the word that yeah. I just look it, what it, what does it feel like? Um, finally found peace man. Um, I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with my life and peace with everything going on around me. Um, was always just trying to find it again. Really couldn't find it, but having great teammates and great coaches, and um, you know the pandemic, like I said, it really helped me find out more about myself more than anything. Um, being at home for nine, ten months straight, um, watching guys on TV play in the bubble, not being able to go there really hurt. Um, being at home, my mom was actually fun though as well. You had to spend time with her. But knowing I love the game, I had to sit out a lot and just wait my time. Um, but I got a chance to really work on my game a lot. So that kind of helped me prepare for the moment. But at the same time, it still hurt. I, you're someone that obviously plays very aggressive on the glass, getting to do everything in the paint. What do you think of Drew's start and then just Brooks seemingly Man, be, being all You see that dunk it? Brooke had? That was crazy. Like, we was talking about it. That was, I don't know, man. That was, that was he dunked it so hard, like that was crazy too. Like I, I didn't think he had a chance of even catching that. But I think guys don't even understand how athletic Brook is to do the things he does. And um, he's a great basketball player. But that dunk right there, that was. I was at the top of the key and I saw him coming. I'm like, man, no way he catching that. That's out of bounds. And he dunked it. I'm like, yeah, that's that was, that was a special moment. Got the crowd really, really hyped too. And from there, it was it was our game. Give up. Bobby, um, I mean, series was tied. It's 3-2, game away. I know you're trying to stay in the moment, but how important, I mean, it maybe goes without saying, but how important was it to, to not just bounce back? I mean, we had, I mean, to be at home, you got to take her at home. Um, you have to take her the home court advantage, man. It's, I think the pressure is more on the home team to win, man. You know, when you road team come in, if they lose, they're like, okay, cool, we can go home and try to win at home again. but. I think uh, we had to win the game, and knowing that the situation we was in, um, one of the best players in the world went down on our team. So um, other guys had to step up, and guys stepped up and played the role to the T. 
And uh, it was fun, man, playing in that game tonight. The crowd was involved from the start. Um, got the chance to go out there and play basketball that we love, and it was it was a blast. Bobby, you've talked about taking advantage of any and every opportunity you've been given, but starting in the Eastern Conference Finals when Giannis is out, what did that mean to you, and what were you kind of telling yourself in terms of? I was just trying to stay locked in. Um, like I said, coming here uh, was a good decision for me. Uh, when you're on a losing team, like I said, man, you kind of take the moment for granted. You're just out there playing and trying to get stats or whatever. But when I came here, God was just locked in. Chris always on me about boxing out and rebounding and things like that. Coach Bud always on about the low man. Giannis always about me about shooting the shots, stop pump faking. So um, God really trusted me. And um, having guys like that, um, it just makes it much funner to play the game. Um, knowing that, you know, Giannis went down and, you know, we had to step up and, you know, I think that's that's what makes the game that much better. When you have to stay locked in and stay in a moment and be ready. Um, you know, I didn't play the last couple of games in the Brooklyn series, but I, I didn't pout. I just, just kept working and knew my time was going to come. And um, I always just believe in, you know, when you do the things the right way, you do right, um, it always come back around. Um, the cream always rises to the top. I just try to stay in a moment and be a team guy. So and I give it all the credit to my teammates and the coaches for, for just trusting in me. Jeff, and then we'll go to the Zoom call. Bobby, I know you've started games before, but this is your first playoff start. Um, how did you get the news? When did Bud tell you, and what was your reaction? Um, I worked out yesterday in the gym, and they was kind of hitting around to it, but I didn't really think I was going to start. And then I um, came into the shoot-around this morning, and we did our little film. The coach said, like, you're going to start and told the line. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I just... I'm ready then. I go out there and start, and uh, it was it was fun though, man. But still, I still got one more game. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a big time believer in um, 12 o'clock rule. When 12 o'clock comes, then so on to the next one. So let's enjoy the 12. Our shorts. Hey, Bobby. You talked about uh, Brooke being more athletic than people realize, and the dunk that he had. Um, how would you describe kind of what got into him tonight? I mean, we're so used to watching him. I mean, Brooke a beast, man. Monster. Brooke a beast. Um, you know, the games that Giannis did sit out this year, I mean, Brooke, he went crazy in all those games that we played. He had monster numbers in those games. So, uh, you know, you know, we are know we are know what we're going to get out of Brooke. Uh, he protects the rim. He plays hard. I mean, he's a team guy. Um, you know, he's, he's fun to play with, man. He's um, a joy to, you know, be on, a, to be um, alongside. So uh, what got into him was just him being himself, knowing that the situation that we were in and he wasn't going to let the team down. All right, thanks, Bobby. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yes, sir.